How are some of the most delicious pineapples harvested on large farms? We use pineapples in literally every dessert, from cakes, tarts, pudding, and pastries. Little known is how these pineapples make their way to the dessert corners in restaurants and fruit shelves. So, how do farmers plant the pineapple crowns, grow the crop, and harvest when the biggest pineapples are ripe? Above all, how are they transported, processed in gigantic factories, and packed? One of the most interesting processes is when pineapples are automatically peeled, cut into pieces, and their juice is made, after which it's packed and shipped to the supermarket. But how does every process take place? Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. The Mechanicals brings you engineering marvels and little-known farming techniques that are revolutionizing the world in one way or the other. If you are new to the channel, but enjoy learning about how technology and innovation are shaping the world's future, you will love to watch the videos we post on this channel. In this video, we will tell you how hundreds of thousands of pineapples are harvested and how pineapple juice is made. Let's get started. Before pineapple juice could be made in gigantic factories, farmers first had to grow and harvest pineapples. Therefore, the story begins in large pineapple farms. The first process is pineapple cultivation. The modern cultivation process begins with carefully selecting suitable pineapple varieties, considering factors such as climate, soil conditions, and market preferences. It's because farmers want to grow the pineapple varieties that are suitable for the market. You should know that the variety depends on how pineapples will be used. For example, a different variety will be grown for juice, a different one for packed dice-shaped pineapple pieces, and a different one to be sent to markets in whole form. <music> varieties like MD2 and Queen Victoria are particularly favored for their appealing taste and commercial viability. Once variety is selected, land has to be chosen as well. Once it's done, land undergoes thorough preparation, including clearing, plowing, and the incorporation of organic matter. With soil analysis guiding the adjustment of nutrient levels for optimal growth, it's the time when pineapples should be planted. Because pineapples do not have seeds, they are typically propagated through suckers or crowns. And precision planting machinery ensures accurate spacing for uniform growth. The crown part is planted, and a new pineapple will grow from it. To ensure things go well, climate control measures, such as greenhouses or shade nets, are used to shield young plants from extreme weather conditions, creating an ideal microclimate for growth. As for watering, modern pineapple farms use efficient irrigation systems like drip or sprinkler irrigation ensuring consistent moisture levels crucial for pineapple development. Precision agriculture techniques, including the use of soil sensors and drones, aid in the precise application of fertilizers, maximizing nutrient absorption while minimizing environmental impact. Herbicides are used for effective weed management, preventing pineapples from competing with unwanted vegetation for nutrients. Integrated pest management strategies involving beneficial insects, biopesticides, and monitoring systems are implemented for pest control alongside the consideration of disease-resistant varieties. Technology, including drones and satellite imagery, facilitates crop monitoring, enabling early detection of issues for prompt corrective actions. Pineapples typically mature in 18 to 24 months, with the option of employing ethylene gas or ripening rooms for uniform ripening post-harvest. Then begins the harvesting process. Before we continue further, tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos, where we unveil breathtaking engineering and farming techniques. Let's continue now. The process starts with advanced methods to assess the maturation of pineapples using techniques like spectroscopy and electronic nose technology to determine sugar content and aroma, indicating the optimal harvesting time. Instead of harvesting an entire patch of pineapples and then checking whether they are matured or not, sensors help know this before they are harvested. 
Mechanized harvesting equipment efficiently cuts pineapples from the plants, such as tractor-mounted or self-propelled harvesters with rotating blades or saws. Robotics and automation play a crucial role, with robotic arms programmed to identify ripe pineapples and gently grasp and cut the fruit from the plant, reducing manual labor and increasing efficiency. In this way, the picking robotic hands know which pineapple to pick and which to not. The ones that are unripened are left to be picked during the next phase of harvest. Advanced technology ensures the careful handling of harvested pineapples. Using conveyor belts and automated systems to transfer the fruit from the field to the processing facility, minimizing bruising and damage. GPS technologies enable real-time tracking of harvested pineapples from the field to the packhouse, ensuring efficient logistics and traceability. Automated sorting systems equipped with cameras and sensors assess size, color, and quality, allowing only premium quality fruit to proceed in the processing line. Then, begins the processing phase. When the harvested pineapples arrive at the processing facility, quality control experts conduct a thorough inspection, assessing the size, color, ripeness, and overall condition, and removing any damaged or substandard fruit. Following this, the pineapples undergo washing and cleaning processes to eliminate dirt, debris, and field residues, ensuring hygiene and preventing contamination. Mechanical equipment is then used to peel and core the pineapples with precision to minimize wastage by removing the tough outer skin and central core. The sliced or diced pineapples, depending on the desired end product, undergo automation in large-scale factories to ensure uniform size and thickness. Optionally, the processed pineapples may undergo blanching, a brief exposure to heat to preserve color, flavor, and nutritional quality while reducing microbial load. Preservation methods, such as canning or freezing, are also used to seal the product in airtight containers or lower temperatures, respectively, with canning often involving the addition of syrup or juice. Depending on the product type, sweetening agents or syrups may be added, particularly in canned pineapple products. Precision packaging of processed pineapple products, including cans, jars, or frozen bags, is crucial for product safety, hygiene, and preservation. Quality control measures are consistently implemented throughout processing, including inspections, sampling, and testing for taste, texture, color, and overall product quality. While making juice, the pineapples once again undergo meticulous scrutiny by quality control experts who assess factors like size, color, ripeness, and overall condition. To make juice, every pineapple has to be perfect and flawless. Therefore, any damaged or substandard fruits are promptly removed. Specialized mechanical equipment designed for peeling and coring comes into play. This machinery efficiently removes the pineapple's tooth outer skin and central core, leaving only the edible portion. The process is meticulously calibrated to minimize wastage. Once peeled and cored, the pineapples are sliced or diced according to the intended end product. Large-scale factories utilize automated machinery to ensure uniformity in size and thickness. The journey takes a juicy turn as the sliced or diced pineapples are fed into high-tech juicing machines. These machines skillfully extract the juice, separating it from the pulp. After that, the collected juice undergoes further processing. The extracted pineapple juice then undergoes pasteurization, a heat treatment process that eliminates harmful bacteria and enzymes. This crucial step not only ensures product safety but also extends the shelf life of the juice. But filtration processes come in before the juice can be packed into bottles because the juice is still more viscous due to the higher fiber percentage. These processes remove fine particles or impurities, contributing to the clarity and purity of the final product. Depending on the desired concentration, the pineapple juice may undergo an optional concentration process to remove excess water. This step is commonly seen in the production of concentrated pineapple juice. For certain products, preservatives may be added at this stage, an optional step contingent upon specific product requirements. As the journey progresses, the processed pineapple juice is carefully packaged using automated systems. Various formats, such as bottles, cartons, or cans, are used in this step, ensuring precision and efficiency in the packaging process. 
Throughout the entire process, stringent quality control measures are consistently implemented. Regular inspections, sampling, and testing for taste, color, clarity, and overall product quality ensure that the juice meets industry standards. Once packaged, the pineapple juice is stored in controlled environments to maintain its freshness and quality. The organized distribution channels then come into play, efficiently delivering the product to retailers, wholesalers, or other markets. That's when customers finally get to taste the pineapples and its products. In the fresh produce section of supermarkets, customers can find whole pineapples, allowing them to choose ripe and intact fruits for home peeling, slicing, and preparation. Alongside whole pineapples, supermarkets offer a range of pre-cut options in the refrigerated or produce section, such as pineapple spears, wedges, or chunks, providing a convenient and ready-to-eat choice. Canned pineapple is common in the canned goods aisle, featuring slices, chunks, or crushed pineapple. This preserved form has a longer shelf life, making it suitable for various culinary uses. In the frozen food section, Customers can grab bags of frozen pineapple chunks or pieces, offering a convenient option for smoothies, desserts, or a refreshing frozen snack. Pineapple juice is available in different packaging formats, including bottles, cartons, or cans. Customers can find it in both the refrigerated section, often with freshly pressed options, and the non-refrigerated section, where juices may be from concentrate. Dried peony apple, package it in bags or containers, is commonly located in the dried fruits or snacks aisle, providing a chewy and concentrated fruit snack. Peen apple rings, whether fresh or canned, are frequently found in the produce section or the canned goods aisle. The circular slices, with or without the core, are versatile for cooking and snacking. Additionally, jars of pineapple jam or preserves can be found in the spreads or condiments aisle, offering sweet spreads suitable for use on toast, pastries, or as ingredients in various recipes. Have you ever visited pineapple farms where hundreds of thousands of pineapples are before your eyes? Tell us, would you like to go to such large farms? Pick the pineapples you like and eat them. In the comment section right below, let us know your thoughts on whether pineapples from small farms taste better than the ones available in packed form in supermarkets. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get more videos on technological feats and farming advancements that are changing the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.